So an issue that a lot of people have with their Apple Watch is that sometimes the Bluetooth either frequently disconnects or just won't connect at all with your iPhone. So in this video, we're gonna go through some troubleshooting steps you can take to fix this problem on your own. Let the download begin. So if you're new here and you wanna learn how to use and troubleshoot your device plus some other cool tech stuff, we can help. All you need to do is hit that subscribe button and that bell for notifications so you don't miss when we release some cool, helpful content. So now ironically, when the Bluetooth disconnects from your phone and your Apple Watch, it could be a lot of things that's causing this. It could be interference. It could be that the devices are too far apart. Ironically, some people find it that if you wear your Apple Watch on the same side that you're keeping your phone in your pocket, that helps with any kind of disconnection problems you will have with the Bluetooth. But there's also some other steps you can take to kind of troubleshoot and mitigate the issue. And we're gonna go into that right now. So also remember that if you're using your Apple Watch and your phone together for music purposes, you can always sync music directly to your Apple Watch. So if you're going out for a jog or something of that nature, you can just sync your music directly to your Apple Watch and then you can sync some wireless headphones to the Apple Watch itself and you're kind of eliminating the phone. So if you're having a Bluetooth connection issue between your watch and your phone sometimes, you can just eliminate the phone altogether if it suits your purposes and then you can just connect directly to your watch and you won't have to worry about the problem that way. So when troubleshooting the Bluetooth issue the first thing you want to do is actually go to your phone because your phone is kind of the main source of the connection between the two devices so you want to make sure you go into your phone's settings so general then settings and you're going to go into your bluetooth settings and you're going to toggle the bluetooth on and off you want to just turn it off for a couple of seconds i usually just count to five to have everything kind of reset and once you hit five go ahead and power the bluetooth back on try to make sure that the watch then connects to your iphone and then do some tests try to leave your phone over here and move a little bit further away from the phone and see if the connection stays intact any kind of troubleshooting steps you take you're going to test afterwards as much as possible to make sure you're trying to address the problem as best as you can so the next thing you want to do is power off both devices. So you want to turn off your Apple Watch and you do that by pressing the side button on the watch and you hold it down for a couple seconds until you have that slide off option that appears. You slide that off to power the watch off and then you're going to do the same to your iPhone. You're going to press the volume down plus the side button. Hold those down until the power button appears and you're going to slide that off as well. Make sure both devices stay off again rule of fives about five seconds and then you can power them both on make sure they establish a connection and then do some testing and see if your connection stays intact so the next thing you want to try is unpairing a watch from your iphone via the apple companion app so you want to go into the apple watch app and then you're going to go into that general settings and you're going to unpair the watch now bear in mind that this step does take a little while because you're going to have to go through the steps of actually fully unpairing your watch from the phone and then repairing the watch to the phone in order to get it going again sometimes just kind of blowing it up and going back from the beginning can help fix a lot of connection issues that you may be having it could be something that's in the software it could be something that's corrupted with the code and just re-downloading that information into the watch by erasing it completely and starting from the beginning can help fix some kind of bluetooth connection issue you're having between your watch and your phone and again always remember that you can troubleshoot up to a certain extent but if everything you're throwing at it still isn't working then your next best bet is to reach out to apple itself sometimes your watch may just need to be replaced sometimes there's something that's going on inside these devices that you can't troubleshoot and they have to kind of physically fix so don't be afraid to troubleshoot of course but when you reach the end of your troubleshooting list your next best step is to reach out to the company to see if there's anything else they can do to help you fix the problem so hopefully this quick video will help you fix any kind of bluetooth issues you're having with your apple watch and your iphone if you guys have any questions go ahead and share those in the comment section below we make every attempt to try to answer as many questions as we can if you have any troubleshooting steps that you've taken to fix the issue that we didn't mention in this video also share that in the comment section it definitely will help our growing community out with any kind of technical support questions they may have this video here is going to give you some more troubleshooting steps you can take if your apple watch just won't connect this video is something that youtube believes you would enjoy watching thank you for checking out the video don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell for notification so you don't miss when we release some cool helpful content like this one until next time guys peace